in the video that you have to find a, st a structure of the chemical chemical formula given based upon different tests. So initially, as, as, I've, as I've done in my previous videos, make sure you check them out. You want to first find out the degrees of unsaturation. So for that, you, you want to put this equation in. Okay, you want to substitute N with number of carbons you have. Here is 3. X with number of uh, hydrogen here we have here is 6. For oxygen, we don't do anything with it. Okay, so if we just left it there as it is. So it would be 2 plus 2 times 6, 6 plus 2, 8. 8 minus 6 is 2, 2, 2 would be 1. So we have 1 degrees of uncertainty, meaning we have 1 double bond. Okay, now then we're going to do the IR spectrum. IR spectroscopy, for, for that, as I explained in the previous video, you need to have this kind of tables that tells you um, the things here. So here, for example, 1725, where do you have 1725? We can have ketones, right? We can have ketones there. Ketones, 70. so we have a ketones probably. Ketones. Or what else can we have? We can have, we cannot have aldehydes because recall for aldehydes, you, you need to have aldehydes. You need to have a, um, you need to have a good pick of broad peak like that, okay? Since there is no that, there is, it means there is no OH, so we, don't, we can't have an aldehyde. What else can we have? We can have an ester, which is a very good pick. I mean, um, we have two hydrogen, which would fit very easily, so we can have esters. Ester. Okay. This can be very easily. Then what, what else can we have? I mean, that's it. All right. I mean, very easy. Ketone esters. Oh, we usually do the mass spectroscopy at the end to just confirm my structure. So that's what I'm going to do in this um, question as well. Now, next next one, we're going to have CNMR. We can have CNMR1 going up, as you can see. This recalls meaning it's CH3 or CH. It can't be CH, so it must be CH3, okay? So it is CH3, okay? One CH3, we, can, we, are, we have one pointing down. What can it be? It can... It only can be what's it called the um the the ch2 right we can have one ch2 okay okay then we have one left here which is 160 160 is around as you can see it's around can be that because it's between 180 and 225 but it but um but it can be um Sorry for buffer, so, but it can be, as you can see, 150 to 185, which is between that range. So it can be esters as we just predicted before. So it can be esters, okay? One ester. So what does ester look like? It will look like something like that, okay? It will be C, probably, H, O, double O, where that will be X, okay? Then that that can be the case. Hard. So this one, as you can see, it is the way it can be. And as you can see, for esters to occur, we can have the, this is ester, right? So we usually lift give us this CH. And recall CH and CH3 both points up. So we can see one pointing up here. So this means this can be CH2. CH that is linked to the ester. Okay, which is sensible, right? So CH that is linked to the ester. So what do we, what what do we let's list what do we have? We have one CH3, we have one CH2, and we have one ester. Okay, let's quickly do the HNMR. HNMR for hydrogen. So we have six hydrogens. So we have six hydrogens here. We have to measure how many is it. So I'm gonna say this should be one hydrogen. Okay, if it's one hydrogen, it is one. How much is this? This is 2.2, .2. can be two hydrogen. And this is 3.3, .3, which is three hydrogen. Okay, I mean, it's gonna make sense. So five, six, gives you six. Let's quickly finish it up. Um, so starting with this, it is much, much farther down, downward. So we, it's upwards. If it's upward, what does it mean? It is mean it is ten. It is close to electronegative atoms. If it's close to negative electronegative atoms, that peak is tend to go into the much higher ppm. So it means 
where I'm going to say this can be our CH here because recall this is closer to oxygen which is highly electronegative atoms so it means we have found one fragment of our group which is that okay it's close to two hard oxygens which is which is a thumbs up now let's do the 2H so this will be so we have one end of our thing which is like that okay okay and it's singlet too which is which makes it easier and um, so here is triplet and here it is quartet so here is triplet what does it mean so it is 3H so if it's being triplet it is mean it is close to using the n plus 1 rule it is it is it, it's neighboring hydrogen as it is neighboring molecule has two hydrogen so it can be x c h2 okay where it has two hydrogen so it will be n plus 1 which can be 3 and which would give us triplet which is as it's as it's here and this means that we have ch3 ch2 because because we know it has three hydrogen so this one fragment n is identified to and this is ch2 close to 4 it means it is close to 3 methane or, or, which is close to 3 hydrogen like that because using that it will be 3 plus 1 which is 4 okay which is very good which makes sense I mean it can be that okay it is really these two here for that it gives you quartet okay which is this one from this perspective it gives you triplet you having a tree hydrogen okay which is this one now we have every piece together so we can easily make it make it to come to come to the true place so it'll be like that okay O. okay hydrogen okay so we have everything piece here so this is our ch3 ch3 here ch2 i mean this is our um um ester group okay and i think this is known as ethyl formate i think ethyl formate so let's quickly finish that one up for you to show it to to confirm so this is our structure here right So you have to quickly watch what, what, what you want to do is that so you have the equation you have the calculator so you're going to subtract 74 minus 45 which is, gives you 29 29 so 29 would be 12 plus 12 plus 5 so it gives you easily this fragment okay ch3 and ch2 ch3 ch2 gives you 29 what else we have 31 which is easy similar to that 74 minus 31 gives you 43 so you have to count that one too so so 43 would be i think 12 um plus um 12 so 12 plus 12 plus 5 plus 16 no that's not the case so i think that would be i oh, that would be that one i guess i don't know 16 plus 16 plus 12 plus 1 is it no so let me find it so then for that one it's easy again as I mentioned that would be 43 base pair, so that 43 base pair, um, 43, I mean, length would be around maybe C H, um, C H, um, C H, so they can C, can be this C H um, O C H 2, okay, as you can read, if you go, that gives you 12 plus 1 plus 16 plus 12 plus 2 which gives you 43 okay then lastly 74 minus 29 it is 45 so 45 would be again I guess it would be 12 plus 3 12 plus 12 plus 2 plus 16 which is this part okay it gives you um, so this can be 29 because it's it is CH3 here which is um, this bit and um, we have this CH2 here which is this bit and we have this O16, which gives you 45 there. So I hope you guys find this video beneficial. Um, and again, as my always do, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make it look fancy and write it in the back of things. So it'll be like that, okay. Um, I think I screwed up. Mm -hmm. Okay, hope you guys find this video beneficial. It is ATL format. Okay, thank you for watching.